Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we will discuss about uh, SQL Server command line executable which is the command line utility of SQL Server. Uh, let's go to notes. So basically this is the executable name SQL Server exe and it provides an alternative to the SQL Server service and it can run from bin directory under the SQL Server installation folder. So let me show you how you can run this. So let's quickly go to the services console. Waiting for it to open. So the services console is open now. So if I take a look at the SQL Server services, here we have a default instance of SQL Server running on this machine and uh, so SQL Express edition is there but it is disabled so not running in the system at present and SQL Server agent services are also stopped and let's take a look at this so for now what I'm doing is I am stopping the this particular default instance of SQL Server as I need to launch the SQL Server exe utility so right now you see that this uh, service is running under the anti service SQL MS SQL Server account. So let's stop this service quickly. So this service is right now stopped. So let me minimize the services console and quickly go to the SQL Server Management Studio. So here we have SQL Server Management Server. Right now it's showing connected. So I need to refresh the connection to see if it's still showing online. So I just clicked on the refresh button. So this will uh, refresh the connection status. So service is stopped. So this green icon should be coming as red. Somewhat it's taking time to reflect the status of the service. Uh, let me pause this video and come back to you once it's done. So I have disconnected from that instance of uh, SQL Server and I'm uh, trying to reconnect to it. Let's see what uh, error message will it post to us because the SQL Server service is stopped. Let's wait for the error to come. I will show you that. So guys, uh, the SQL Server is unable to connect and it's giving me this error that a network related or instance specific error occurred. Now let's try to run the SQL Server command line utility. So let's open command prompt, but make sure to open the command prompt in the administrative mode. So I've given the command to run the command prompt as in the administrative mode. Let's see when will it open and currently waiting for it to open. Not opened yet. So let's wait. And there are two services window open. Let me close one of them. Uh, so guys command prompt is open. So here we need to go to the bin directory under the SQL Server installation folder. So how can you figure out uh, what's the installation location of the SQL Server? So you may go back to services. So I'm going back there and I'm checking the installation path via the properties window. So if you go to properties window, it is giving you that path, which is this and after that it's ms sql server so you can directly go to bin directory so this is the path so let me put cd and put this path and go there so now i'm inside the path where the sql server executable is there so take me to this path 
So let's go back to the okay. On D drive, the path is there. Um, SQL Server is installed in the D drive. Let me try to open SQL Server exe. Try to find that file. So the, and this is the executable which you can run. So hit enter. It starts the executable. So right now the program So here on this system we have multiple instances of SQL Server running so I need to specify the instance name with a hyphen S switch so instance name is MS SQL Server right let's put it so it's starting up the SQL Server so taking time to start it's starting up databases at present all right so SQL Server is started at the moment and if you want to stop this uh, command line utility you just need to press the control C to come out of it so let's go back to the SQL Server management center. let's see if I'm able to connect to this uh, database engine from here yeah even though I can see the service should not be running at this moment but SQL Server is running although the service is run, not running the SQL Server is running uh, it will show you here as not connected because the service is not running but yeah you can uh, trigger some of the queries against the database th and that's not an issue because the command line utility is running uh, you will be able to trigger queries against various tables so let me trigger a simple query against this table employees. so I'm selecting top thousand rows let's see if it does give us the output so yeah query is launched let's see if the output comes so yeah we, and we have received the output so let's close this quickly so yeah we see that the SQL server is still running although the service is stopped so let's go back to notes quickly and command window should be started in administrative mode that we have already seen and once the SQL Server utility start it reads the default parameter from the registry and start its execution otherwise we can override these default parameters by passing the parameters along with the command line utility um, we just saw we have passed the minus s parameter or hyphen s parameter to specify the instance name and management story and configuration manager will show SQL Server is stopped because we aren't running SQL Server via the related service that I've just shown you it's showing as stopped because service is not running that's why it's showing the red icon so if we come back and at this moment um, the SQL Server command line utility is running so at this point we will not be able to start stop or resume the instance of SQL Server as a window service so let's try to do that if we are able to do so so if I try to start the SQL Server service I will not be able to do so as the command line instance is running so let's do that so this service will not start so it's giving us the message Windows could not start SQL Server service on local computer the process terminated unexpectedly this has happened because the command line utility is still running so and while running the SQL Server from command line it runs within the security context of the user so right now I'm logged in as user Vineet on the system uh, which is a local administrator prof uh, using a local administrator profile so it's running within the context of user Vineet and it's not running under the security context of the account assigned to the SQL Server service so let's see what SQL Server service is running under. It's running under the anti service MS SQL Server account. So right now the SQL Server command line utility is not running under that account. The service run under that account. And we should not minimize the command console. So we have just seen I have not minimized the con command console. It's running in the background, but window is not minimized. So if the window is minimized, Windows will de-allocate all the resources from the SQL Server. So make sure 
you should not minimize SQL Server command line window. And the instance of SQL Server must be shut down by pressing Ctrl C to break into the execution stream. So let's try to do that. Let's try to stop SQL Server command line utility. So here we are inside the window where the SQL Server command line utility is running. So let's press Ctrl C. So it gives us the prompt that do you wish to uh, shut down the SQL Server? Press yes. So right now the command line utility is stopped and at this point we can start our SQL Server service as well. It will run fine. So yeah, it's running fine. Uh, let me take you to management console quickly. So here we have status of services running. So let's disconnect from it. Alright guys, uh, we are done for this video and I will see you in my next video. I thank you so much for your time on this and you have a wonderful day. Also, please, uh, if you really like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, share your comments um, for us to improve further and uh, subscribe to my channel to get updates on my future videos.